Aloha. So I'm going to make a couple of videos today. Uh, this is Saturday the 4th of September. And I realized this morning when I woke up, and it's funny, like maybe some people are more susceptible to uh, suggestion, auto-suggestion than others. For me, the last couple of days I've been telling myself I want to get up earlier, I want to get back to my sleep schedule, which is usually go to bed around between 9, 10, and get up uh, 5.36, and my body has been back to that. So this morning and yesterday morning I naturally woke up at 5, 5.30ish, and I may take a nap later in the day. Right now I feel super great. Um, even though there's there's part of me, you know, that is in the let's be lazy and try to go back to sleep because I had corona and that was the, the pattern that I was in. And that kind of like, def and, and I'm going to get into that in this book in a second, Asking Is Given, that is part of, I guess, uh, an emotional set point, which uh, they talk about in this book. Like... A lot of people, and I was this way for so many years, um, like, and I, I think, I think, <laughs> I think watch YouTube, watch younger people, watch actually most people in this world, but especially watch YouTube, and what is it? It's, it's a reaction. It's a reaction. It's, oh my God, something happened. I have this feeling that's incontrollable. I'm observing it, and there's an emotion, and I'm speaking to that emotion, and now I'm getting a million fucking hits. And what that is, it's something happening in the outside world, in that sphere, and you observing it and reacting to it, and not being consciously aware that you, 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 I'm looking at this camera, and also me, and you who is watching this video, that we have control over those thoughts and we have control over our reactions and we have control over our emotions just like i mentioned the other day butterflies in the stomach right does it is it a scary feeling or is it an excited happy feeling like oh my god i'm, I'm meeting someone new uh this roller coaster is fun right and maybe we were on a roller coaster as a metaphor <laughs> in the past and the roller coaster crashed, some people died, got hurt, blew up in flames, and now every time we ride another roller coaster, it's we, we get a tingly, weird feeling in our stomach and our bodies, and we freak out, and then we think, oh my god, this is the worst thing in the entire world, and I gotta get off this roller coaster, except life is a metaphor, and you can't get off of it, and, uh, or, you decide to slowly change that emotional set point, and, uh, reaffirm from your experiences and recenter yourself on the fact that the metaphor is actually good and that the metaphor is is a roller coaster for change and and a challenge to better yourself so in turn it's whatever emotion whatever whatever emotion whatever thought and whatever uh, vocalized word meaning whatever meaning that you're giving to that emotion and so I'm just going to read a little bit here you have the ability to direct your thoughts you have the ability to direct your own thoughts you have the option of observing things as they are or imagining them as you want them to be and whichever option you choose whether you're imagining or observing is equally powerful. You have the option of remembering something as it actually occurred or imagining as it would as you would prefer. You have the option of remembering something that pleased you or remembering something that did not please you. You have the option of anticipating something that you want or anticipating something that you do not want. In every case, your thoughts produce a vibration within you that equals your point of attraction and the circumstances and events line up to match the vibration that you have offered. You have the ability to place your attention wherever you decide, so it is possible to distract yourself from something unwanted and put your attention on something wanted. But 
when a vibration within you is one that you have practiced a great deal, key point here, the tendency is to continue offer, to offer the vibration the way you have been practicing it, no matter how much you want it to be different. Wow. So true. The relationships in your life, you know, the, uh, the money that we earn, the everything. It is our, yeah, food we eat. It is not difficult to change the pattern of your vibration, especially when you understand that you can do it little by little at a time. Once you have an understanding of how vibrations work, how they affect your experience, and most important, what your emotions are telling you about your vibrations, now you can make steady, fast progress toward the achievement of anything you desire. If we were standing in your physical shoes, it is not your job to make something happen. Universal forces are in place for all of that. Your work is simply to determine what you want. You cannot cease your constant list of preferences, so your life experiences help you determine at both conscious and unconscious levels what you prefer and how life from your personal and important perspective could now be better. And every conscious or unconscious offering or asking from, your, from you is answered by source. When you have lived an experience that helps you understand in an exaggerated way the very thing you do not want, you also understand in an exaggerated way what you do want. But when you are painfully aware of what you do not want, you are not in alignment with what you do want. When you desire something that you do not believe is possible, you are not in alignment. When there is something that you want and you are feeling unhappy that you do not have it, you are not in alignment. When you see someone who currently has the very thing you desire and you feel jealous, you are not in alignment. If we were standing in your physical shoes, our attention would be upon bringing ourselves into alignment with the desires and preferences that we have launched. We would consciously feel our way into alignment. So, what did that bring up for me? And what did that bring up for you? For me, um, you know, it brought up, um, you know, a, a lot of my life. I was like, you know, I, I knew my own talents, knew my own intelligence. I knew my own motivation in life, but still, and, and where I wanted to go, but I still had some, like, looking outside me, nagging jealousy about other people. Growing up, especially growing up, uh, growing up poor, growing up in a, in a rural community, uh, growing up, you know, with parents that uh, I never saw as great examples for me, you know, they, they, they drank, they did drugs, um, they just gave me a television to watch, and, and so there was always this outward searching for something else, and, you know, that's why I believe, you know, and, and, and for the largest point of my life, I was like, I'm not going to be like my father, I'm not going to be like my father, I'm not going to be like my father. Well, I wasn't like my father in a lot of ways, but I did become like my father in one very important way. I became an alcoholic and then later an addict. So, you know, I, I feel like I had to live through and, uh, and, and work out that karma, that vibration in my life before I could move on to bigger and better and more awesome things. Before I could be the man that, that's speaking to all z of zero people right now on, on YouTube. Or maybe one. At least one. And so what else this this spoke for me was you know, my life experiences have shaped me in a certain way. And now I have certain things that I want to focus on, that I am focusing on, that I'm directing my energy toward. And when I consciously think about those things, um, and I was, I think I showed you guys, I was borrowing a tool uh, from one of my friends. It's called an EM2 wave. It's by the HeartMath Institute. And what it does is it measures your heart rate variability. So let's say that your heart rate is uh, 60 beats per minute. Well, usually it's your heart isn't like bum, 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 bum. It's like bum, 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 bum. So it averages out to 60, but in between the, the beats, there, there may be like a different, a different space. 
So heart rate variability means that you have an equal space between each beat. And the more that you have that, the more that your, your, your heart is in coherence with, uh, with like happy, joyous, wonderful, beautiful, um, uh, gratitudious thoughts. So when you're, ha when you're in a va va vibration, when you're feeling, when you are in your body, and for those of you who have never done this, it may seem kind of weird, you may think, oh my God, I can't generate my own emotions, but you actually can generate your own emotions. You focus on and imagine something that you're already grateful for. For example, grateful for sunshine, grateful to have a toilet, grateful to have like running water, grateful to have money in my pocket, whatever. Focus on that, feel that gratitude, okay, now take that emotion, that joy, that, that love that you have for a person, and transfer that onto an ideal image that you have, something that you want, right, a vibration that you want to be in, and health, Right. One of the things I'm doing right now is having a vibration that I want to heal my wrist because uh, it's not doing the best. So, uh, also, you know, I, I talk about being financially uh, wealthy and, and in the next five years making $10 million, right? The cool thing is, and also, a lot, and, and, and it's an acceptance process. So, all you have to do, for name this book, is super awesome. All you have to do is imagine what you want, visualize it, and then feel that loving, awesome, generous, uh, gracious, grateful emotion toward it. And if you have one of these EM2 heart rate variability monitors, or I recently ordered um, uh, a heart rate, like a Bluetooth heart rate ear clip monitor from Alibaba. It'll be here in about a month, and there's apparently a ton of apps out there as well that are cheaper than the Heart Rate, the Heart Math Institute, because those can run a couple hundred bucks. But you know, if you are the Heart Rate Math Institute and you want to uh, like and support this video, then these two would be awesome. <laughs> because that's what people on YouTube do to make money, and I need to get to my $10 million goal, so help me, universe. Awesome. That vibration on um, is that uh, yeah so it's 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 a cheaper version and and then so when I'm when I'm doing and I gave this to back to my friend but when I'm doing uh, a meditation you know now I've practiced it and now I can feel when I am in a vibration of of, uh, of, of gratitude and happiness and joy and, and the tool is especially useful for me um, and, and I think it would be useful for a lot of you who live in this ethereal internet our head kind of world and we're disconnected from our bodies and our emotions or we've never knew that we can and so we don't know what an emotion feels like necessarily in our body or we're uh, very disconnected from um, from the emotion you know uh, we, or we never experienced that we can generate the emotion ourselves. So go forth into the world, do your visualization meditations, put yourself in a vibration of joy and happiness and, and gratitude and love and all those things, thinking about what you want. And, you know, it's like, it's like when I, yesterday, um, uh, when I was, accomplishing some things I got my computer fixed I um, I uh, made my I laminated my uh, my gold card I, I saw a friend who I hadn't seen in a while you know every time I do something now that is leading me closer to my goal it's more proof that that's happening. So it wasn't just yesterday, like, oh, I'm making my goal card. It was, okay, I'm at FedEx. I'm laminating my goal card. Now, this is another, like, 
pin and a half, another drop in the bucket that I'm going to make this $10 million goal in the next five years happen. I'm fixing my computer. That's gonna. That's another thing that's gonna you know, help me create websites and, and help me edit videos and make this $10 million goal happen. And that may sound crazy to you, but for me, it reinforces a belief and it reinforces a vibration and it reinforces a pattern of behavior. And I am in, I, I think all of us have this ability, um, but I am in a pattern seeking behavior and I'm very consciously aware of these things that add or subtract to the vibration that I want. So, be in alignment, consciously control your thoughts, focus your energy on what you want, focus your energy and your vibration on, or uh, your, your emotional energy on love and joy, and gratitude and happiness and all those good, fuzzy, warm, feeling, hippie things and feel it when you do visualization meditations, read a book, have a beautiful day.